Hello everyone, in this screencast we will be handcrafting a TCP packet using SCAPI and uh, basically we will be setting this reset flag which is which you can see in the figure here and then we will try to see its effect on the ongoing TCP communications for this we will be using client and server uh, we will be using sockets API and we will be using a client and server model so we will just have a quick review of the socket API the server will be executing the following uh, uh, system calls that is socket bind listen accept accept is a blocking uh, system call and then read write similarly the client will be issuing following uh, will be calling the following system calls that is socket connect uh, through which it connects to the server then write read and close we will just have a quick look at the uh, code which we will be using okay This is the server code. Okay, here we can see that this is, this is the structure SOC address in which holds the uh, port number, and this is uh, also the structure which holds the client info. Here we can see that this is the port number, then this is the bind system call here the listen system call is there after that we wait for the client here uh, by the accept system call and then we uh, receive the information data from client and we also send it back to the client now we will quickly have a look at the client code okay here in the client code you see this is the socket system call here uh, here we are passing the uh, IP address uh, sorry here we are passing the IP address of the server and here we are passing the port number this is the connect system call and here we are receiving the data we are sending the data to the server and here we are receiving the data from the server okay now we will start our server module server program is running inside the virtual machine okay now we can also check whether it is running or not here we observe that the server is running and it is listening on port 30000 okay we we'll just close this now we will come to the uh, now we will open up the virtual box uh, sorry the wireshark we will start the capture Now we will run the client program. Okay. Once we have uh, run the client program, you can see here uh, that the client has sent the sin it has received sin and SYNAC from the server and then it has the client has sent again sent the ACK now what we will do is we will fire the SCAPI okay this is how we, we need the pseudo permissions for this
okay first of all we will uh, find the uh, we will uh, handcraft the IP packet for that we have these commands lsip okay now we have to set the source and the destination address Just set the destination address. Okay. So uh, this is our source address and this is our destination address. He will also set the uh, source address. As the address which is being shown uh, in the Wireshark is dot three. Now we will do three dot show. Okay. So we have got the correct source address and the destination address. Now we will set the TCP. Okay. So here we will be setting the source port, destination port, sequence number and the flags. Okay. What is the source port? We will see here eight two three eight seven three eight seven two six. Destination port. The port is thirty thousand. Okay. Flags for reset. Uh, we have to set four. And now the sequence number now we will see the sequence number from the wireshark here the sequence number that we are getting is we can have a look at the sequence number here so we have DA598A F3 598A F3 we will just convert it into the decimal okay da 59 h9 f3 we'll just check whether this was the sequence number da 598 a it is F3. That's okay. So our decimal number is here. We will simply copy it. Here we will paste it. Okay. Now we will uh, see the contents of MTCP. Okay, now we have the source port, we have the destination port, and we have the sequence number. Here the flag is set to R. Now we will create our packet. We can see the contents of the packet also. Okay, so our packet is crafted. Now we have to send the packet okay uh, we can use following commands also lsc this will list all the commands which are available then uh, on any command we can use help help sr 
this will uh, give us what all parameters are there okay then we will just send the packet we can send it through SR Once we have sent the packet, we see that it shows up in the Wireshark. Now let us see its effect. We will go to the server. We see we have got client disconnected. Now we come to the client. Here the client does not know anything. Now we will just say hello and see uh the uh, uh, see it is uh, the program gets disconnected now we will see what has happened here okay after the reset then uh, when we try to communicate with the server the server then sent us a uh, back again the uh, reset command okay thank you